Hello and welcome to the Dayton blog. In this edition, we'll be covering the new tablet data collection application developed by Dayton for the City and County of Denver. A little over a year ago, we got together with the City and County of Denver to put together a plan to develop a data collection application that would enable them to pull together their geometric and condition data on their curb ramps. Let's have a look. Now this application is designed to be used in the field and the color scheme used has been chosen based on the best contrast displayed on a tablet screen in the sun. The first opening page is to identify the inspector along with the date of inspection. Inspector names are customizable. Click Start. Right away at the top you can see the login details we just filled in are displayed here. Below we have a training guide which outlines ADA compliance. We have the ability to open a new session or close a current session. Once logged in, the map loads automatically with the assets located and displayed at each intersection. From there, we can go ahead and select the desired asset that we're collecting data on. You'll notice the ramp ID along with the street information is populated once the curb asset has been selected. If we're inspecting an intersection, the intersection ID and information would be displayed here. From there, we know we're working with the correct information and we can begin to fill out the data entry form. The form is responsive in the sense that the form will change based on the criteria filled in. An example here. When we specify the ramp is directional, a drop down menu appears allowing you to specify the direction in which the ramp is facing. Once we've filled in the first data entry form, we click next and we're brought to a second page of this form. The second data entry form is more detailed and specific. To aid in the data collection process, help buttons are placed beside the corresponding data entry field to help illustrate the area to be recorded. After the ramp data, landing zone data, and both sides 1 and side 2 have been collected, and you've deemed whether the ramp is deficient or not, and you've added any additional comments in the field, simply click Submit. Again, this app is designed to be used in the field. It runs locally off a tablet, and the data is stored on the hardware, which is later uploaded into DTIMS for analysis and forecasting. The Tablet Data Collection app is another great addition to the customized applications developed by Dayton. If you have any questions or you'd like to learn more, just visit Dayton.com. We'd love to hear from you. Before I sign off, I'll let you know you can find us at the Southeast Bridge Preservation Partnership March 30th to April 1st in San Antonio, Texas. If you're in the area, stop by and say hello. That's it for this edition. Until next time, I'm Joel Beaulieu, and this is the Dayton Blog.